There's dead ass a spider on my camera. I'm trying to film. What the? Wow. Alright, what's up guys? So today, the 240 is finally getting some love. Um, this weekend is OSW Summer Sleepover. It's a huge event. Three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A lot of driving, a lot of tires being burned off. I'm um, very excited to drive the 240. As always, it, it's amazing to drive. I love it so much. So as you guys know, with this amount of power and amount of grip I have with this car, I keep breaking axles literally like every single event. And to not break them, I've been running like 35, 40 PSI on Kendas, which is like no grip at all. So I'm just roasting the tires, not going anywhere, being slow. And I hate being slow. I cannot stand being slow in drift. So I sent my stock 240 axle stubs out to Nate at Villains. He makes the Z adapters so you can run uh, Z axles, actually Z33 axles. So they're much more durable. I'm very excited to drive the, um, this weekend with those axles so I can finally have some grip and, you know, be fast and drift and, you know, just be... No, have no worries. You know, every time I go drive these days with this freaking car, I'm worried I'm gonna I'm gonna break shit. So I just literally just, you know, I'm just driving. I enter and I'm just like easing the throttle. I can't do, I can't do anything I want to do. So I'm driving kind of like a baby, and it's really bothering me. So I want to drive hard as I possibly can with these new axles. I'm really excited to do that. So huge shout out to Nate for uh, getting those axles out to me this week by Thursday, hopefully. So I'm very excited to get that done. Also, guys, I'm so sorry for the other video. Uh, the audio is just. I guess kind of crappy on the iPhone. I didn't have my camera with me, so I just used my phone. I didn't know that it recorded like not that great on one side. I don't know. It was weird. Everybody was commenting saying that you know it came out of one side, but I didn't even really even hear that in my editing software. I didn't hear any of that until I put it on YouTube. But then I started to see what they were saying, and I was like, oh dang, okay, I'm sorry. But no more of that. I bought a mic, so the mic should be working good with the phone whenever I use it and with this camera. I'm sorry. No more bad audio. Good audio for now. But for today, the 240 is getting some love. Mostly today, I want to make it look nicer. I have the KBD kit on here, but the, the KBD uh, bumper on the rear kind of sags a little bit, but I figure out a way I can pretty much mount it so it stays in the correct position. Right now, it's been like sagging for forever and it's bothering me, but I want it to look good for this weekend, so I'm going to do that first. Second, I have the NPC 100 proof 240SX engine bay dress up kit. I'm really excited to put this on. Huge shout out to uh, Fletcher at NPC for hooking me up with this kit. Uh, you'll see that today in the video. It has everything you need. Every exposed bolt you see in a 240 engine bay is pretty much like looking janky and looking crappy, you know, but this makes it pop, makes it shine. So I always like myself looking good, so I'm very excited to put this on my car. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video on the Subaru, and the Subaru is a great car, it's a fun car, I love driving it. The past few months I've been really gotten into drifting, obviously, like that's my main focus. But the past few weeks I've been like loving this car, I've been loving driving this thing, like I've been driving the truck so much. He yeah, has a truck, it drives great, it's pretty decent on gas, it's fun, I can tow crap and all that stuff, but once you get into this, it's like dang, I kinda wanna drive this for like, for, like a while. Alright, so as you can see, it's another gloomy day in Florida, you know. Oh, the sun just came out. See, Florida. It's gloomy and it's sunny out in five seconds. There's a blue sky. Okay, never mind. Anyway, here's my Subaru. You guys have asked me to do a review on this car. So be on the lookout for a review on this car later this week or next week. Um, I drive this car a lot, actually. Like, my weekend car or, like, when I'm bored, I just drive this instead of the truck. The truck's kind of like, it's a truck. It's fun to drive. But driving a quick little Subaru, going on some back roads is always a fun time. So later this week, I'm going to do a full video on it. Name all the bolt-ons, name all the mods, suspension, the wheels, the tires, all that stuff, you know, detailing stuff I have done to it, all that. I'll also do a full basic detail and explain what I do every time I wash my car. If you guys didn't know, this is my second Chevy 1500, sadly. I bought one a few months ago, and I had it for a month, got in a wreck, and lost it for insurance reasons. I'll explain that in another video, but I'm selling the other one very soon. I'm going to get some money for it. I'm going to lose a lot of money, but I can't really help it. So I'm just going to take the loss, move on with my life, and just drive this truck until it goes. I bought this truck pretty much to trail the 240 and have as a daily to stop, you know, putting miles on this thing. This thing looks, God dang, this thing looks so good. Oh, I love this car, but I want to sell it, but I can't sell it. I don't know what to do. Maybe one day I'll sell it, but we'll see. Also, my truck, my Chevy 1500, this thing is pretty old, but it's in amazing condition. It drives amazing. It tows amazing. It just is a, it's a great vehicle. I love it so much. I'm going to do a full decontamination and full detail on this truck very soon. I just haven't had time to do it yet, so I'm going to go to the detail shop this week and get some supplies and do a full uh, correction, polish, sealant, ceramic coating, make it look 
amazing. This collar is a great collar, but it's pretty bland right now. It's just been sitting, you know, for like years and it hasn't been properly detailed ever. I can literally tell by the paint, but it's not that bad, but an easy touch up for a few, few hours of work can make this thing look really good. Hey, if you know, you know. But back to 240 guys, we'll get started on this right now. If you haven't known, I had a pretty sketchy harness bar set up for like a while since I had the car. I had it mounted down there and it wasn't very proper and I kind of forgot about it. I just, all, all I wanted to do was drive. I didn't want to do anything else but drive. So I kind of put it off, but then Tommy from OSW was like, hey, yo, like, I need to get the proper setup. So I was like, all right, cool, no problem. So I went to Njuku and picked up an energy harness bar. It's kind of annoying to install, holy good lord. It, it triggered me hard. If you know me and I'm triggered, I'm triggered. So this is installed now nice and solid and properly for the harnesses for this weekend and we're all safe and ready to go. Yes, I'm doing a full 240SX car check. I'm gonna start a new series on my channel. Well, my first series actually, Views Through the Red. My friend Christian is an amazing filmer. He has a red camera, a very expensive camera and it films in like the highest quality you can possibly get. If you didn't know, my first video, my intro to my channel was filmed with a red camera and we're gonna do a full review this weekend at OSW on my S13 with the red camera. So be on the lookout for views through the red. That's gonna be my first series on my channel. Yo, I literally forget how dope this car is sometimes. Like, I don't look at it for like, I don't know, a day or two, I come back to it, it's like, God damn, this is mine. This thing's so sick. I'm getting hyped just talking about it and looking at a freaking 1J in my own S13. It's just funny to me, but I'm very happy with this car right now. This turbo setup now is so perfect. It looks so good. But today, I actually am gonna do the NPC engine bay dress up kit for all these bolts. Well, the bolts you can see, at least. Um, and also, I have a really cool, the VHT paint, the heat paint also makes a wheel paint. It's just metallic, like, silver color. It's, it's, it's this right here, actually. Right, wait, wait. Oh, that, right there, that color. And it looks so good. You can paint anything. It's wheel paint, but you can paint anything with it. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna paint this and this today, that color. It's gonna look awesome. Just so you guys know, yes, I talk very fast. I mumble sometimes. I do my sh I do my thing, but I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I'll be slower-ish. I just get hype and I talk fast. I can't help it. See, I'm doing it right now. I'm sorry, but I'll get better at it. So the NPC has an amazing package here. It is the S13 engine bay dress-up kit. It pretty much supplies you with every single bolt that is exposed that you want to look good. Um, I got the polished color. I love polished stuff. I like black too, but the polish just stands out for me, so that's why I got that. Again, huge shout out to Fletcher and NPC for getting me this kit. So I'm gonna start with the fender bolts and then the wiper motor bolts. I don't know why I'm like most excited for those. Those to me pop the most. So I'm gonna start with the fenders and then go to the wiper motor. All right, so here's the stock ugly freaking bolt here. Painted red and crap and looking like a ugly. Here's a nice NPC bolt. This thing, well, Allen with the nice outer edge. It looks so much better, so much cleaner. Here's the stock bolts, very bland, just normal, you know, just not for looks, just, it's just a wiper motor, but who cares, you know? But, it's probably really good. Just did the power steering reservoir right here with the new MPC bolts. It looks so much better than stock. I cannot stand how crappy stock bolts look. So as you guys know, I've never had a front bumper on my car, but the time has come to figure out how to get this damn freaking bumper on. All right, so, my reasoning for why I haven't had a bumper. Okay, so, I have a custom bracket for my intercooler and my radiator. So, this right here mounts to where the bumper would usually mount to, right here. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and drill a hole right here inside my custom mount, or something like that, to have it mounted exactly where it needs to be so it lines up good with the hood. So I just got a Sharpie and marked where the hood sits right here so I can hold this up right there and make sure it's perfect with the line of the hood. Alright, so I just remembered I bought these bumper supports in California. I never usually use these, but with the polyurethane, it's really heavy and I hate when things sag. So I'm going to mount one right here and obviously one right there. So I can hold the whole bumper up nice and secure so nothing is uneven or sagging or anything. 
Now it's time for this side, exact same thing on this side as that side. Alright guys, the moment has finally come. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Alright, so the bumper is actually on. Doesn't look that bad. Just so you guys know, this hood is damaged, so this is going to look a little off for a little bit. Temporarily. I'll get a new hood later. But, the bumper is on. Holy crap, the bumper is on, bro. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm so tired of not having a bumper anymore. This is so awesome. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Heck yes, dude. I'm so stoked. All right. Fitment's not like origin or anything, but it's on. That's all that matters. So I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. So let me know in the comments below if you're happy. All right. So up next is the core support and radiator hardware right here. So all these raggedy, ugly looking bolts here are going to be nice and shiny. Yeah. These are old. These are like older than me. I think. Yeah. They're older than me pretty crazy so nice refresh nice shiny bolt do the trick so since I have a custom setup here I can only do one of the nice bolts and then another one of the nice bolts but I had to leave off the washer but all in all it looks way better than, look at this I don't have this size bolt but compare the difference between this one and this one because this one's just old and rusty and this one's just nice and shiny much better all right so up next is the hood hinge hardware once again old rusty bolts painted red nah bad It's all done and installed, it looks so much better. So I had a lot of washers and nuts left over, so I pretty much just utilized them on top of the uh, engine right here. I use these two with the washers, these two, and these two with the bolts, and these two with the washers because the two middle ones I couldn't fit the washers in because of the how this is like that. So it all in all looks so so much better than the engine bay. It's a lot nicer, a lot more fresh, a lot cleaner. Now that the MPC is all done, I'm going to start taking this apart and this apart so I can paint these that metallic color I told you about. Yeah, the silver's nice and all, but I like I like metallic colors a lot better. My camera died, so I'm on my phone right now. I got a microphone now, so it should sound good. Let me know in the comments below. But I got this VHT wheel paint, this awesome, what color is it? Graphite, that's what it is, graphite. It's a, it's a metallic, like, gunmetal color that looks so good, and it blends really nicely. So with the KBD kits, they're probably and they're really heavy. They don't fit that bad, but the back end does sag a lot. But I figured out, I have these zip tied on, but I figured if I got bolts and had them snugged right here, it would hold this entire thing up. Or I could get in here somehow and tie it up in there. I know there's a trip to do it, but I'm gonna figure it out because I'm tired of this bumper sagging. It's supposed to drill a hole in each of one of these right here on that lip. And then all you do is just get a nut and a bolt and you just screw it on so it stays flush wow i didn't know it was that easy i'm kind of mad at myself right now all right i'm kind of triggered but i'm really happy because this thing fits so much better that's sick my whole entire kit's on now for the first time ever i'm stoked heck yes the bumper on properly very stoked on that Oh, I feel good. Everything's done, finally. Interior looks mint. Everything is finally said and done. All in all, it was a great day. Got everything I wanted to do done. Engine bay cleaned up, all the bumpers on, everything dialed, just ready to go. All I gotta do now is do the Z stubs from Villains. Once again, huge shout out to Nate from Villains. I'm so stoked. He got them done so fast. They should be here Thursday. So Thursday, I'm gonna take the diff out, swap the stubs, put the new axles in, and I should be good to go. 
Once again, this weekend is OSW Summer Sleepover. It is from Friday to Sunday, the 27th to 29th. It is a lot of driving. It's a blast. I cannot wait. All the, all the weekend events are a bunch of fun. Um, so if you're in town, come out to that. It's going to be a blast. It's pretty cheap. If you're camping, I think it's like 150 for the weekend. Camping and driving. And if you're not camping, I think it's 50 bucks to chill and, you know, just hang out. But yeah, all in all, it's going to be a great event. I'm very excited. So come out to that. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.